who was told he might never walk again to now being a world record holding sprinter. This double amputee, Blake Leeper, he has already challenged perceptions about what the human body is capable of. And now scientists at CU Boulder are studying the relationship between his body and his blades and trying to level the playing field for athletes of all abilities. Denver Savins, Nicole Brady has this story. What does it take to be the fastest? All right. Just try. Yeah, I'm feeling good right now, so don't want to jinx myself. Maybe it's things you can measure, or maybe it's something you can't. I've dedicated my life these past few years to be the best in the world. Every day that I wake up, I tell myself I want to be the fastest man in the world, legs or no legs. Blake Leeper has had prosthetic legs since before he could walk, but he's always been driven to go faster. Okay, his dedication got him to the podium in the 2012 Paralympics, where he came in second to famed South African blade runner Oscar Pistorius. That year, Pistorius made history when he was allowed to race against able-bodied runners, and that gave Leeper a new goal. So that's my goal coming in 2020 is, is not only compete in the Paralympic Games, but also compete in the Olympic Games as well. That's where the team at CU Boulder comes in. Leeper has to prove to the IOC that his blades don't give him any kind of advantage. A lot of people are suddenly asking if they do, because this summer, Leeper ran the 400 meter in 44.42 seconds, nearing the world record for an able-bodied runner. So that's our task, is with research we can say, okay, these variables are different, or this affects his top speed, let's say. I mean, there's also training and hard work that goes into this, as well as the device that he's using to be able to run. And I think it's really important to try to understand that. You know, a lot of people are question, questioning the legs, but they're not questioning my, my work ethic. They're not questioning my coaches that, that help me. They're not questioning my teammates that, that push me. They're not questioning all the times that I've sacrificed just to get to this moment. The blades have been around for years and years and years and years, and I'm just the first one to run 44 seconds. For Leaper, it's about dedication. Go, 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 go. Grabowski, it comes down to data, what she can measure in Blake's movements, his muscles. But as for being the fastest man in the world. His body is different than other athletes, but does it mean anything? Or is it just in the spirit of sport that we've got these amazing athletes that have worked hard to get where they need to go? Here in America, we have some of the fastest runners in the world. We expect excellence. We expect the best. And so when I, when I go and hopefully I can go represent my country, I'm going to go and, and, and compete and give the best that I got. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. Wow, he is impressive, isn't he? And Grabowski is also working with German amputee long jumper Marcus Rehm, who's trying to compete against able-bodied long jumpers in the 2020 Olympics. We will keep you posted on what the International Olympic Committee decides. What a great